All right, we're going to continue our learning of operant conditioning and taking those rewards and punishments and the immediate and the delayed reinforcements and take it a step further to this next set of concepts known as schedules of reinforcement. So far, we've just been talking about what we call continuous reinforcement. When we give reinforcement after every time the behavior occurs. For example, every single time you do a homework assignment, I put a grade on it. What would happen if I stopped grading your homework? You'd probably stop doing your homework. So if I want to have a more persistent behavior, if I want to have my students do their homework on a more regular basis or study on a more regular basis, then what I would do is I would reinforce it partially, have a partial reinforcement where I give it intermittently or every so often. Sometimes your homework will be graded, sometimes it won't. Sometimes your studying will be reinforced with a quiz, sometimes it won't. We call those schedules of reinforcement, and by definition, all they really are are rules that state which instance of a behavior will be reinforced. And as I mentioned, it'll build a more persistent behavior that's more resistant to extinction. If I want a behavior to continue, I don't want to reinforce it every single time. That's really difficult, and what it does really is it lowers motivation. Because if I reinforce it every time, then sometimes it might not be as important to somebody and they might not really worry about it. Well, I'm not going to do my homework this time because I can do without one grade. But let's say that that's the one grade that I thought was one of the most important ones. So if I want it to be a, a steadier behavior, one that's more regular, then I don't want to reinforce it every single time. So let's talk about these schedules of reinforcement. There are four different words that you need to know. Fixed, variable, interval, and ratio. Every schedule that we have is going to be either one or the other, fixed or variable, and it's either going to be interval or ratio. There's no such thing as a fixed variable schedule because it's one or the other, and there's no such thing as an interval ratio schedule. Again, it's one or the other, but I just want to teach you these four words before I move on. A fixed schedule is one that is predictable. It has a known requirement. I know exactly what I need to do, and I know how to get my reinforcement. A variable schedule is going to be more of an unknown, random requirement or an unpredictable requirement. I don't know exactly what I have to do to get my reinforcement, or I don't know when that reinforcement is going to come. So it's one of those two. And then we move down to interval schedules, and interval schedules are reinforcements that are given after a period of time. I have to wait a certain amount of time before I get reinforced for my behavior. And then the second type is a ratio schedule, which is when I have to do something a certain number of times before I'm reinforced. Okay, I have to actually perform a behavior and once I get to a certain number, then I'll be reinforced for it. So when we put these terms together, what I've got for you here is the first one is called a fixed interval schedule. Fixed, if you remember, means known or predictable or set. An interval we talked about means time. So when we talk about a fixed interval schedule, it means that we have the reinforcement that's being received for something at a known amount of time. I know how long I have to wait for that reinforcement to come. I can plan for it, and there's nothing I can do to make it come faster. I don't have control over that. I just have to wait. Some examples of some fixed interval schedules that you'll want to get into your notes here. A paycheck every two weeks. You know, as much as I would love to get paid every single day, I have to wait every two weeks before I'm paid for hanging out with you guys every single day. When you have teachers who give weekly quizzes, you know how long you have to wait. It's fixed. It's a set amount of time. So you know when you need to study for it. You can't make the quiz, but I want to take the quiz today. No, the quiz is on Friday. Okay, You have to wait. You don't have control over it. Another example, and this is something that I really recommend that students do, is set a timer when you're studying. 
Set a timer and then reward yourself after a specific amount of time, say 30 minutes. And after 30 minutes, then you give yourself a 10 minute break. Okay, and then you go back and study for another 30 minutes and then give yourself a 10 minute break. It's a known amount of time. One final example of a fixed interval schedule, how many of you like to bake cookies? Okay, or like it when your mom bakes cookies. Cookies take a certain amount of time, okay? Depending on your oven, you figure it out once it's heated up. Our chocolate chip cookies take about 12 minutes in the oven. My kids are sitting there and they are waiting for those cookies. And I tell them, they look at the timer and they see 12 minutes, okay? They gotta wait 12 minutes before those cookies come out of the oven. And then they're rewarded or whatever it is they're doing and they get to have those cookies. So those are fixed interval schedules. The second type of reinforcement schedule is a variable interval schedule. And we talked about variable means random, unpredictable, we don't know, okay? Interval still means time. So it's the reinforcement being received after an unknown or an unpredictable or uncertain amount of time. I don't know how long I have to wait before I get whatever it is I've been waiting for. I can't plan for it and still nothing I can do to make it come any faster. An example here, instead of the weekly quiz, this would be a teacher who gives pop quizzes. You don't know how long you have to wait before your studying behavior is reinforced. So you're going to continue to study and then you're going to be reinforced for your studying by being given a quiz. But you never know, you could get another quiz the next day or you might wait a week or whatever, you just don't know. Another one would be waiting for a sunny day in January. Okay, we live in Michigan, January is a very gray month and we don't know how long we have to wait for that sun to come out, but hopefully it will at some point. Talking about January in Michigan, what about snow days? Do you know when those the next snow day will be? It's a variable interval schedule. The reinforcement of a snow day comes after an unknown amount of time. You don't know when that next snow day is gonna be, but it's not like you do anything for it. You just wait for it and you hope that it comes. So those are some examples of variable interval schedules. Now we're moving on to these ratio schedules. Fixed ratio schedules, fixed, remember, still means unknown or predictable or certain. Now we're talking about ratio, number of behaviors. These types of schedules, you actually have to do something. The interval schedules, you're just waiting. There's nothing you can do to make that reinforcement come any faster or to slow it down or whatever. You just wait. Ratio schedules, you have control over ratio schedules. The more often you do a behavior, the more likely you are to get the reinforcement. With a fixed ratio schedule, you know exactly how many times you have to perform a behavior before you get the reinforcement. You can actually perform the behaviors faster to get the reinforcement faster. A great example here would be some sort of a coffee club. Okay, Big B has it, Starbucks has it. When you buy 12 coffees, you get a free one. You could buy a coffee a day, okay, and you could wait 12 days, but you know how many coffees you have to buy. And you know exactly at what point you're going to get that free coffee after you buy those 12. If you're a person that gets paid on commission, every five sales you make, you get paid. So you know what you have to do and you know how to get the reinforcement. You don't, it's not a guessing game at all. Another fixed ratio schedule, one where you know how many times you have to do something, would be how many miles can you drive before you run out of gas? Okay, how many miles can you drive before you fill up again? That would be another fixed ratio. The last one is the variable ratio. Now this schedule is the absolute best reinforcement schedule to use to have the most consistent behavior. A variable ratio schedule 
is still based on number of behaviors, but this time the person doesn't know how many times he has to do something. It's a random number of behaviors. Now, the more often you perform the behavior, the more likely you are to get the reinforcement because you know it has to come at some point, but you don't know how many times you have to do it. The best example here is gambling. Gambling is reinforced on a variable ratio schedule. My mom and my grandma, they go to the casino, and I've gone with them a couple times, and we've played the slot machines. That's what my grandma enjoys doing. We play the slot machines, and it is addicting because you know that machine is going to pay at some point, and you don't want to get off the machine because as soon as you do, some little old lady is going to get back on there, and she's going to win your jackpot. Okay, so we keep playing because we put so much money in already, we're not going to give that money up. We know that at some point, one of those times, the machine is going to pay out. So any kind of gambling behavior is considered a variable ratio schedule. I don't know how many times I have to pull the lever on the machine or push the button now okay, before I get the reinforcement. Another example is kids throwing tantrums. Kids who have grown up with inconsistent parents. Parents who sometimes give in to their tantrum and other times don't give in to their tantrum. Kids are still going to be there more likely to throw a tantrum because they know that at some point, sometimes mom or dad gives in to me. So I will keep throwing that tantrum because maybe this time it will work. Let's go back a second to a variable interval schedule. Let's say that a kid throws tantrums and mom always gives in or dad always gives in but it's just a matter of time. Sometimes as soon as I start to throw the tantrum mom gives me what I want. Other times I've got to wait longer. I've got to throw that tantrum for a longer period of time but I don't know how long I have to throw it but I'm gonna throw it as long as it takes because eventually mom's gonna cave and she's gonna give me what I want. Every time I throw a tantrum she gives me what I want. Only it's a variable interval schedule because I don't know how long I have to throw that tantrum before I get what I want. Variable ratio tantrums would be, I don't get what I want this time, but I might next time, so I'll do it again. And maybe I don't again, but maybe I will the third time. Okay, because my parents are inconsistent and sometimes they give in. So it's based on behavior, number of times I perform a behavior. Another example of variable ratio, you know, I have to go to athletics. When I was in high school, I was training to break a school record, okay? I was training for a state championship and in the process was really wanting to break a school record. Breaking a school record, you can't predict which race you're going to actually break the school record. I can try. Okay, I can try to predict it. I can say, okay, this time I'm going to break the school record. But that doesn't guarantee that I'm going to do it. So I don't know how many races I have to run before I actually break that school record. It's a variable ratio. Ratio because I actually have to do something to, to break the school record. I have to actually run to break the school record. All right, this is a little chart that gives you how to set up these different schedules of reinforcement. We're going to simplify it for you. And I like pictures, but I have another one that has words on it. But with this one here, fixed interval, we have the I know, I know, and the time. So fixed interval is a known amount of time. Variable interval is the question mark unknown amount of time, or the random amount of time. Fixed ratio is the I know, I know, again, the known number of behaviors. I know what I have to do. And I know how many times I have to do it. And the last one is the unknown, the variable ratio, the unknown or the random number of times I have to do something before I'm reinforced. So fixed interval, known amount of time. Fixed ratio, known number of behaviors to do. Variable interval, unknown amount of time. Variable ratio, unknown number of behaviors to do. Here's the one with words that I just explained, but if you like it with words better, then you can go ahead and copy that down. 
I do have a worksheet that I'm going to have you do that will give you some more practice with this. But write down any questions that you have so that we can discuss them when you come back to class and we will uh, make this a little clearer for you. This is your first exposure to this. I know it's a little bit confusing, but we will work with it and, and see how you do.